This video is about the dosaging and how long that people take myonositol according to the studies. Before I begin, uh, this video is for information purposes only. Everything I say has not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. I'm simply reading the research articles. I'm giving you this video to help you understand basically how long typically people took myonositol, how long they take it, and basically what, um, what the dosages were according to the studies. I'm just going to read the studies to you so you have a basic idea of how long it takes to get those results. So basically, the first study was the uh, this study, and everything else, every study we make is actually on our website. There'll be a link below that will take you to that website as well, so that you can see that. So if you have any questions about that, just you know, give us a call in there. But um, uh, basically, the first study was uh, myonositol here. Um, this was basically the uh, this was the PCOS study, uh, basically that showed. Um, everything going on. This was actually about fertility and things like that. So in this study, I'm reading the study, the study was two grams a day, so that's about two teaspoons a day of myonositol, and it took 10 to 12 weeks before the results were noted. So around 10 to 12 weeks, uh, progesterone raised from 2.1 to 12 milligrams, that's a six times increase, and it is highlighted right there, so you can read it. And also testosterone was normalized. So basically, if you're going according to the myonositol studies on PCOS, if you're going to the myonositol studies according to progesterone, those studies showed a two gram dosages uh, for at least 12 weeks before the results were noted on the hormones. And remember, I'm reading the studies. You should always consult your doctor before doing anything. But according to that study, it was two grams a day. That's two teaspoons a day for at least 12 weeks to get the progesterone effects and the testosterone effects according to the study. Um, the other studies that were out there are basically the thyroid studies, which these are amazing studies. Um, this was one of them here. This was about uh, Hashimoto's and uh, youth thyroidism and everything like that. And basically it showed that uh, also dosages around two grams a day, which is what we're looking at here, it was six months. So this is highlighted six months of treatment and if you read the highlighted area you're going to see what it says there it says showing a complete restoration of tsh values at a normal range that's what the study says so basically um, and in the myelinostal studies with the thyroid they added selenium to it and if you use selenium you should always use a food-based selenium such as an extract from a brazil nut or something called selenomethionine and that's very important for the study. You want to keep everything according to the study, keep it there. But study says, I'm reading the study, it says administration of myonosyl selenium is significantly effective in decreasing the TSH, TPO antibodies, and thyroglobulin antibody levels. Again, the studies are on a website. You can click there. It'll take you to them. Um, that's based on that stuff. But in the thyroid studies, results weren't noted till six months. So if you're using the myonositol treatments or you're following the studies to see if it changes any blood work or anything like that, um, that was a six-month treatment. You had to do it for at least six months and past that point. I don't have any studies past the six-month point. Uh, most of the patients I've seen have continued to take it, uh, working with their doctor and analyzing blood tests and stuff. But remember, the thyroid studies weren't until six months later. The progesterone studies were not until at least 12 weeks. This is about a two teaspoon a day dosage of the myonositol. And make sure it's pure myonositol. Make sure it doesn't have the cornstarch fillers. So that's also important. This is also important to get results. you got to make sure you're actually getting the product in the bottle. You know, and you'd be shocked to see how many things don't actually have it in the bottle, but make sure you're actually getting real myonositol and it's myonositol that's pure. You can investigate the products on our website if you'd like to look at that too. But there's a lot of, uh, we've seen maltodextrin and cornstarch fillers and some of the myonositols out there. And if you're doing two teaspoons a day and half that's filler, you're not actually hitting the dose. And it takes at least six months on the thyroid studies to get the results. You need to get the dose right and you got to make sure that dose is correct. Um, this was the other one that I wanted to show you in the video right here. And same thing here. I've highlighted this for you so that you can see it. Myelinositol had to be taken for at least six months. And the study says significantly effective at decreasing the TSH, TPO antibodies, and thyroglobulin antibodies. 
Um, so remember that. Hopefully this video is helpful if you're doing this for the hormonal treatments according to the studies, reading the articles. It's at least 12 weeks before progesterone changes happens, then that's two teaspoons a day of pure myelin acetal. Uh, thyroid studies were also that way, but they were six months before the changes were noted. So if you have any questions about this or things that we're doing here, you know, you can work with your doctor, you can do blood tests to measure this. I would encourage you to validate the results because it is amazing to see thyroid stuff shift with basically um, myonosis stuff and see people working with their doctors on that and doing those things. If you're a physician out there, this is a beautifully amazing nutrient profile thing that it says. I would hope that you're reading your journals and I would hope that you're looking at this stuff. This is incredible what's coming out on the International Journal of Endocrinology on myonositol. This is a phenomenally effective thing. It takes at least six months to get the results on that. So hopefully this video is helpful. If you have any questions about our office or anything, feel free to call us. Um, if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, you get updates on videos, also special videos and things like that. And, um, you know, keep us in mind if you have any questions. Hopefully this is helpful. I'm just making this video for you guys out there that might wonder how long, how much, how much myonostal do people usually take. So thanks again for watching. This is Nathan Kennedy from Kennedy Wellness Labs.